Alright, hey guys, it's me again, with another trickster video, who would have thought? Yeah, it's, uh, been, I didn't make one since July, so it's been at least three months now. So, I was in the mood to make one today, and hopefully I'll be able to make more, uh, you know, now. School's gotten a bit easier, um, my friend, he's not particularly rich, but you know, he's in a family where they have a good amount of money. And he went and bought himself a nice new fancy headset with a fancy mic. And he was so generous as to give me his old table mic. Which is actually really nice because it works better than the one I had before. The one I had would um, constantly give feedback or cut out. Or, you know, just be overall lame. So, I have this better mic. And I'm enjoying it. And also, um, today, I don't know if I messed with my computer or if Trickster just changed something, but, um, I've been getting a better frame rate, um, as I was recording this. I had a lot better frame rate than I usually do, which is nice, because that means I can actually, you know, not feel distracted by how, um, crappy my frame rate was. So... Uh, in this episode, we're just going to be continuing with the Papuri Dungeon Quests. And, uh, seems that I have some Galder coupons here, and I'm going to be selling some of my stuff that I don't need to get a bit of extra money. I do have, a uh, 100,000. And I don't know if I mentioned this before, but they did reduce the price for second job. You only need, like, 300,000 now. And, um... The guy, there's this monster, this bo mini boss monster you had to hunt cards from. He dropped two cards that would randomly be, they would each randomly be one of the eight classes that you could choose from. They changed it to, you, he just drops one universal card that's for every class. So that's, eh. I guess you're, you'll miss out on a bit of experience from doing that, but not too much. Because you'll probably only have to. I don't know if he still has a 100% drop rate to drop the cards, though. I'll have to find that out once I get there. Um, I was dumb and covered my level with the uh, hypercam thing this episode. I am level 34. I don't remember what my TM was. It was like 28 or 29. But I am level 34. So one more level up and I will be able to equip a new better gun. And uh, the monsters here are actually pretty tough. They're in the 40s and 50s, I believe. And someone here, j they just left a bunch of 1,000 Galder coupons. And let me say, I haven't seen a 1,000 Galder coupons before, so those must be new or something. But that's 8,000 free gold right there. So if you're, mm, I'm happy to take those. It brings me up to 100,000. So I'm getting close to having enough for second job even though I'm not close enough in level. Um, yeah, as you can see here, this monster is level 52. The larva, he is a charm type, so he's going to be difficult to kill. Um, oh yeah, I don't think you really know what quest I'm doing. I went and talked to that scared Purpuri again after getting him whatever item he wanted before. And now I have to go kill um, four different types of monsters until they drop these four items. So one of those is the, lav la the larva, one is this Simbata thing, the other ones are those upside down monkeys called the Turvies, and the other one is a Spo, which is, he looks like a snowball. Excuse me there, I had to uh, fix some hotkeys for a uh, hypercam because I had them on the... Some of them on the 7 and 8, and I tried to use the skills. It's not too much of a problem. I do have 5 resurrection scrolls that I guess they gave me. I don't know when they gave those out, but I have them. Uh, these turbies are level 45, but they're a power type. And they're resistant to guns, so they're fairly difficult for me to take out. Because, um, well, as you can see, they're hitting me pretty hard. I'm burning through a lot of potions. Uh, I'm going to use my lucky pink potions here and try to use those up. Oh man, there's a bunch of these guys over here. I don't want to kill these. They kill me. I am almost leveled up in TM though, which is good. 
I level up once in TM this video. I'm gonna go ahead and use a resurrection scroll there because I don't feel like going back just quite yet. But man, these guys do hit pretty hard. Not gonna lie, the larva's level 52, these are level 50. Um, I've only gotten the exchange diary, which I believe was from the plant looking thing. So. One down and three to go. No, maybe it's not from them. Maybe it was from the larva. I don't remember. It's from one of them. Yeah. And man, I died again. I'm probably going to end up wasting all my scrolls here. Oh, there's the robot model kit. Okay. That's two. Yeah. I'm probably going to level up from finishing finishing this quest so yeah uh, the third and fourth anniversary skills give me like one defense it's not worth anything but they don't cost MP and it looks cool so it may as well but man I'm really enjoying my better frame rate here even while recording it was better than it was before so I don't know what happened but I'm happy about that uh, there's nothing really too interesting about this part because I'm not getting the drops I want and I'm getting uh, beat to a pulp by these turvies. I don't know. The monsters in this dungeon remind me a bit of Starcraft units. Like, the turvies remind me of mutalisks and the larvae just remind me of the zerg larva. Uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe I just played too much Starcraft. And then, the, I don't know about the moss. The moss actually reminded me of, um, the old... Man, I died again. <sighs> I was gonna say, the moss reminded me of the old Yu-Gi-Oh! show when... What was his name? Weedle? The, the bug kid? I know Weedle's a Pokemon, but that... The bug kid, he had the great moth, and that kind of reminded me of this dungeon. I'm trying to just sell... Turvy's Tooth actually sells for a lot. I should have picked a bunch of those up because I saw a bunch on the ground. So I'll sell that. Yeah, you're going to need a lot of money once your uh, supply of potions you got in the beginning and happened to pick up since then ran out. I'm going to have to restart here because, uh, yeah, I restart my uh, recording there because my game lagged. Uh, I got lagged at the server or something. It was I could click and stuff, but nothing would happen. Anyway, I'm going to go on the top road this time and kill some uh, spos. And they drop gold better. I have no clue what that does, but it's gold, so maybe it sells for some good money. I don't know. We'll see. What is this? He wants a flower. May as well drill for this, see if I can find anything. If I don't get lucky here, I'm not going to just keep drilling for it. Yeah, I can't find anything, so I'm just going to recover some HP and we'll continue. Going down here, what's this? I think I was already in here. Before. What does he want? He wants a whistle. I'll go find that later. Couldn't hurt to get some extra experience. Kill more spows while I'm at it. They are physical weak. Oh, and moss moss. Moss moss are gun weak, and they're magic type, but they still hit me fairly hard. That I ran out of potions there, and I ended up wasting another revive scroll because of that, so... That's not good. I already used, like, three of them just in this one video. But whatever. Kill some, uh, stuff. And here's where some annoying people came into the dungeon and started killing everything that I was trying to get items from. Which kind of got on my nerves. But, oh well. I, uh... They dropped teddy bears and they didn't take them, which is what I was looking for, so that's fine. I don't remember if the Spo dropped the teddy bear or if the Moss dropped it, so... Whatever. Here's some gold. I'm going to take that. Don't I look like a poor guy just looting everything off the ground? Well, get used to it, because I'm going to do that a lot. 
I still need to hit 300k regardless because I'm gonna hit level 50 sooner or later <laughs> even if I don't play very much but I'm ah, I died again I'm sick of dying so I think I'll just end this here see you guys next time